This is the Yuba El Mundo, and the L stands for electric. Uh, I have a lot to say about this bike. Most of it isn't good, unfortunately. It is, uh, you know, y Yuba's been making regular bikes, regular cargo bikes for, for quite some time, and the Mundo has been uh, a popular one. And, you know, they, they added a number of components and features to make it electric, but unfortunately, it just doesn't work all that well. And they're, they're just, you know, it's just, I guess there's a lot to cover. So let's get into it. So there's a 500 watt geared brushless front hub motor. And that's fairly standard with like trikes and other cargo bikes and stuff. They've got like a nice little protector here for, uh, for the wiring and um, kind of goes up the bike and it looks pretty decent and it goes back to this battery. It's a lithium polymer 36 volt 10 amp hour battery. So it's a little bit uh, lighter weight. Um, it's sort of comparable to like a lithium ion battery, but it doesn't have very good range. Um, and it's just not quite as, as high quality as a lot of bikes are using lithium ion. Uh, when you actually turn this bike on, you have to, you know, stick the key in here and then twist it to on. When you do that, this console lights up here. And, uh, in my opinion, it's just it's just unnecessarily complicated and sort of takes up a lot of space. It's just kind of cheap, I, it, you know, again, in my opinion, but it's, it, it's, first of all, it takes up a lot of room. Second of all, this tells you your battery and this tells you your power. And I guess what that, what that's saying is you can actually sort of dial down how much power you're able to, um, utilize with this twist throttle. And the twist throttle, it, unlike most electric bikes that just have like a portion of the handlebar that twists, the whole thing twists. So you'll see I twist the, the whole thing and then, you know, you can see the, the motor go up there. Um, so it's, it's functional, but again, the range isn't very good. And I don't, I don't like the fact that like, I mean, I could, you kind of go in and you can like kind of, it's just not as stable as some of the other designs. Um, but if you like pom-poms, it does have this like little hole right there. You can add some streamers. I am a fan of that. That That's pretty cool. Um, so back to some of the, the specs on this bike, right? It's got fenders. That's awesome. And I guess this is like a defloppilator or whatever. And that's on there um, to help manage the weight of like a front basket. And this actually has some nice mounting points here. And there's a big basket that can go on in the front. But unfortunately it's not designed super well because these wires butt up against that and just really get in the way and they can they can wear um so that's one of the that's you know again it was a bike that they made electric and and the wires in this case really get in the way and don't work very well um, while we're on the topic of wires uh, you can see that they've they're just using like a standard v-brake on this and considering the weight of a cargo bike, plus, you know, whatever, you might have a box back here or a person riding. In this case, there's the seat and the runners. Um, you know, that's, it'd be nice to have disc brakes, I guess. And, and even oversized disc brakes would be a welcome uh, addition to this bike. As far as riding and pedaling go, uh, you've got seven speeds here. And you've got like a, a trigger shifter right there. And then on the back, you've just got a standard derailleur right there, SRAM derailleur. And it works all right, but some of the other cargo bikes are using um, hub gears, and, and that is nice because you can shift without pedaling. You'll also notice this really long chain, right? And that, that can, it's just low to the ground. It can like bounce around a lot, and there's no chain guard. So if you're pedaling this and you've got pants on like me, you're gonna, you know, it can get caught and tangled. It can get greasy, which is a bummer. Thankfully, they do have the chain guide, and that helps the chain from actually falling off, but it's just plastic, you know, and, and this is an expensive bike. Um, it would have been nice that if they had made it metal, <laughs> um, but again, at least they have a chain guide at all. Um, and I guess, you know, I think really what this bike comes down to is in order to get this bike working right, you have to do a lot there are a lot of features that don't come stock so like all the stuff we're looking at here like this plastic piece here you have to buy that this plastic piece here that would protect panniers like we've got over here you got a pannier on here you don't want that to like flop into the wheel back here right so you get these like running boards or whatever you have to buy that um you have to buy the seat pad here are some handlebars for like a kid or something you have to buy that the seat not super soft, no springs or anything. And this, you know, this is a pretty burly bike. 
there's no shock or anything. So, you know, if you're riding this over extended distance, it would be kind of uncomfortable, I think, after a while. And, you know, at least that's that's how I feel. A lot of my bikes, I put like a, a shock absorbing seat post. Um, but it's just it's just kind of kind of basic and, and you're really paying a lot. So, uh, you know, that's that's kind of a bummer. So I think to really capture um, the experience here, it's that you can make this bike work. You can put in the money to get it there and stuff, but it's just, you know, there. I feel like there are some missed opportunities. And in fact, it sounds like Yuba's making uh, an updated version of this bike that's going to use the Bionics system, which is pretty good. I've got reviews on that system at electricbikereview.com, and um, I'm not sure if they've chosen which one yet, um, but that 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 probably work pretty well and and you know those those fit together well but there are still you know considerations on the bike itself like the chain guard and stuff that I guess I would like to see and and if you're thinking about buying this without the help of like a shop or something I would really you know think about it because um this one came with like kind of a, a bent uh derailleur and that's hard to fix if you're not a shop and you don't have the tools and stuff. You know, electric bikes are complicated to begin with, but just the nature of this one, how it's kind of been put together and, and stuff, it makes it a little bit more vulnerable to not being quite right when you get it. Um, again, because it's sort of like bike plus electric. You know, it's not, it wasn't built this way initially. Um, the kickstand is, is pretty cool. You'll see that there. It's like super burly, holds the bike really well. I like that. I'm going to go ahead and, and hop on now and, and just, you know, show you what it's like to ride this thing. So, let's see. There we go. Just, okay. Whoa. Okay. I'm pedaling. There we go. 